companies. Eagle well, Med it's kind of narrowed it back down. Uh, combined for each other. I think Air Med and maybe Eagle Med do are they combined, aren't they, or whatever? Yeah, they've were back on. I knew there was another set of minutes, but somehow I didn't get them printed. And I know as I was reading here, life saves. They don't reciprocate. So where's this life saved out of? What's your problem? I didn't know if they stationed a good one or where or something. Well, they said Colby. 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 But their main office switched off. Okay. Well, Eagle Med, they fly into here, that might not be Goodland. It might be somebody from yeah. South Dakota. Yeah. And same thing with the ones in Goodland. They could be flying to South Dakota to pick up people. These <coughs> life save is. And they have a bunch of different cities. They have a plane in Colby and two planes in McCook. part is if you need an emergency run you need to check which company's going to carry you and you're not in any position to do that I, that's I a frustrating thing well, yeah. unless you have the card around your neck <laughs> well, you <know. laughs> but Eagle Med could be well, it was. it was busy for yeah. Roger and so they had to well you think they would subcontract uh, lack of better terms to another flight service and the pay would be the same, but I don't know. We should be covered then. You're yeah, too late. <laughs> yeah, I missed well, it by two. Just in case. <laughs> Hopefully it never happened again. Insurance, insurance, insurance.
Have we got any other leases back? On? Well, we we got a lease with Grace Flying. Do we have any other leases? Back? Yeah. Devon and Devin, that's it. Yeah. yeah, the other other two haven't been in to Who's get theirs. Who? No, Rick was in, wasn't he? I haven't oh. signed it. I, I signed one for Devon. Yeah. And then for Grace's, that's only two that mm -hmm. I know yeah. They've been approved and they're... Dave Yost or Rick Rogers and open ends. So maybe you need to follow up with an email saying, hey, you're ready. I made him save it from last meeting. No, I think you've been cooking it since then, the way it takes. You're getting awful testy with just one meeting to go. Good okay, now it works. <laughs> <laughs> when I start biting, you can throw me out. My son started about midnight. He didn't quit till we yesterday about noon. I did a lot of praying and I didn't catch it. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I was uh, I'm afraid to go. Because I didn't have a deputy to come. <laughs> okay, we inadvertently missed the November 30th minutes. Uh, do I hear a motion to go in to approve those minutes? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Same sign. David. Run the bills by real quick. Can run on the mail this good one. Right? Read the bottom of this. It's supposed to be on the agenda too. I know it. I asked him. I really did. <laughs> so she got more authority than you did. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Is that a 
yearly dues that Kansas Association has. Yes, this is for Norm Bowers for his services. He's the local roads engineer. Does a great job for us. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite the character, too. Yes, he is. This next one I'm presenting is the bridge inspection fees that are coming up. Uh, it's from Pinco Engineering. They've did a forever, did an excellent job. Very pleased with them. So. And they're the same price it was. This is a biannual inspection, which we have to do. And uh, this is the same price that we had two years ago. And realize we had that many bridges. Mm -hmm. And a bridge classified anything over 20 foot span. All the mothers are just boxes that we have to take care of, and they're not required to be inspected. So. Jeremy Tillman, bridge down by Barnard, fixed up enough to pass for inspection. We put in that whole new center slab on the west side, yes. Yeah. Okay. Back up to the same white rating. It back to the same rating, correct. I'd still like to do. Like the, the same when you got yeah, yeah Roger had seen that. But I'd still like to do the same as we did with the Moore Bridge and put them steel beams in the seams. It seems like that's worked best, like you know, on that O'Brien Bridge. Anyway. Well, there's a lot of them bridges. I think when they got set together, they was never welded together. Correct. Not properly. That's correct. Well, I think I think they just sat and left. I don't tell oh. them we didn't even, nobody said, well, then we go. Hmm. I know that one down there by where Gary Moore used to let it down south, but Bertie's never well, I don't think. Hmm. Well, it might be by now, because later I think we went back and well. Yeah, yeah, we did. At the time, it wasn't. Okay. And if you look at it, I think it's put together backwards. I think there's one section that was staggered, you know. Well, but the barn art was the one put in backwards. Well, that one too, because I think if you turned it around and took the center ones out and put them on the end and the other two in the middle, oh, you'd have a single hump instead of three humps. Hmm. I don't think the company that made them numbered them right. Okay. Yep. And they need signed. Okay, I need a motion to go ahead and uh, accept the uh, proposal from Penco Engineering for Engineering Services Bridge Inspections. For 89. 89 bridges. For 89 bridges, and the cost was uh, lost. $8,010. Do I hear a motion? So moved. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. I bet you're surprised I remember that way. Yeah. That's good, Ed. McCormick excavating is going to start crack on the highways or, or, or uh, asphalt streets next week. So we agreed to do that. They're last just week. crack sealing, they're not overlaying. Or just crack sealing. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty cold to be. It's what they're supposed to do through the winter. So. Figure the crack will be wider or what? Yeah, just open, open up further and then they'll have to blow them out and seal. And then I give Scott the, my last request. 
basically what's going on here is I'm still waiting on a call back from legal assist in regards to the leave time that Kelly Hill was wanting to apply. <clears throat> Due to the fact that um, we're getting towards the end of the pay period and the necessity of these hours, what we're proposing to the commissioners at this point in time is if we aren't able to use Kelly Hill's hours to apply to two other employees, then and in that event, Dave is willing to go ahead and, and volunteer or donate the hours that are appearing on that letter. So we just need approval from the commissioners that we can do it either or. If Legal Assist comes back and says, yes, you can go ahead and apply Kelly Hilt's hours, great, that's what we do. But in the alternative, if they say, no, you can't do that, then we have this backup of Dave donating his hours. Okay, and that's very generous, Dave. Yeah. So we need to continue to table the issue of until you hear back well, from Well, no. Basically what you could do at this point in time is just say, okay. Approve. Approve it. Yes. With the conditions. Okay. Need a motion to uh, address sick leave hours. Uh, Kelly Hilt's uh, resigning at the end, has resigned, and he uh, had a question about uh, his sick leave hours and wanted to donate them. The county attorney is waiting from legal assist from the state of Kansas to, or from K Camp to uh, determine if that's possible. In the event that it's not, Dave Fleming is willing to donate some sick leave to two employees. <clears throat> Do you have a motion to go ahead and approve that? That's all moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'll just keep this. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Dolores and John, I think we're ready for you. I'd ask to come because uh, the treasurer indicated that uh, there was some controversy regarding our home for the age levies. So, uh, I guess uh, well, I think we'll let Leslie address that. Basically okay. what it boils down to, <clears throat> John, is that um, on the levies that came out for 2018, it's showing a specific line item for CCB in six minutes. Mm -hmm. And that has always been under general yes. and not its own mill levy, so to speak. Yes. Because the agreement that we have with CCB is that they can have up to the equivalent of six mills for operation, that there was not an, not for operations for CCB. Oh, okay. yeah, yes, okay. for CCB thought, for the operations. Yeah, that's the operations, and then the, the uh, PBC, PBC was the actual is, voted on six yeah. mill, and so the CCB, formerly known as Good Sam, um, that was under general, mm -hmm. and in the proposed draft of the budget, it was still under general. But then when the final budget came out and then the tax levies, all of a sudden CCB is showing with a designated six mills. Yes. Which was not the intent. The intent was to keep it under general. Uh, well, no, I'm not sure. The budget came, it was a separate uh, file. When we discussed it, that was the intent. Uh, the... And the problem is, is I sure don't have all of your information on, on the history. Uh, no one could seem to come up with the 2011 really detailed. But basically, it looks like you know, they could come up with a copy of the ballot, which was August 2nd of 2011, which they voted on, shall the county uh, levy a tax not to exceed six mills for the home for the aged. So that was approved in 2011. Now, 
the next item I have is the resolution that was for the 2016 and on page two of that I've highlighted a paragraph uh, second up from the bottom where it says on August 2nd 2011 a countywide election was approved for the collection of six mills um, to create a special fund uh, the county projects the existing six mill levy will be sufficient to pay projected rental under the lease agreement. Uh, so the question is, that's I think been bouncing back and forth for the last several years is whether we had two six mill authorities or one. And from what I had seen, it looked like we only had one. Now, your former county attorney seemed to think that we had authority uh, for, for two uh, and recommended that we pull that existing six mills out from under the general fund because it really should have been set up as a separate fund all along, not incorporated in, in the general fund. Uh, so we pulled that out and put it under uh, KSA 2106A, which gives the Board of County Commissioners the right to level or levy an annual tax uh, for the operation, maintenance, and repair of the home for the age. And so uh, that was what we put that second one under and there's no limitation I mean we wouldn't have to do it at six mills we could do it whatever we want so uh, I still uh, I guess and in what I'd suggested at the time we did the budget was and, and I think you're right the first draft it was in the general is that we pull that out into a separate fund so that the public could really see that we're levying 12 mills for the home for the age, not six mills. And and so, uh, but I, I, I don't think we have any problem legality-wise, but, you know, if that's not the way you really want it, we can amend the 2019 budget, put it back into the general fund. My recommendation that it be put back in under general, and the reason being is because the agreement that we have <clears throat> is that it's not a designated you get six mills, but the equivalent of six mills to operate this place. This is a discretionary amount whereby they are coming in quarterly and making requests for subsidization of their operations. If they aren't able to cover the bills in that quarter, then the county will use up to the equivalent of six mills to subsidize those operations. Don't you think that's in conflict with the original uh, 2016 that indicates it to be put in a separate fund? That's the PPC. That's the bill. Uh, but in that, it also states that the original 2011 uh, was a six mill levy for to, to be put in a separate fund. Right, and that's the PBC. No, on two, August 2nd, 2011. 11, yeah, that's when we set up the PBC. A countywide election approval of collection of six mills for the purpose of creating a special fund. Mm -hmm. So, well, I, I'm, I'm looking back at that 2011 and saying it should have been a, a special fund, separate fund all along. Which, that's the PBC. No, the 2011... PBC didn't start until 2016. But the vote. And you I got you got two votes. You got one vote in 2011 and another vote in 2016. I don't. I only remember one vote in regards to the home well, for the agent. The the 16 was to establish the PBC. But not not a levy, just the establishment of the 
the foundation. Oh, right, yeah. but the actual vote was back in 2011 to set all of this up so that <laughs> the building furnishing of the premises would be done with six mills. Right. So I think that's when they established the Home for the Aged budget amount in the county general, but she's saying that's the one that should have been originally but it should have been, been designated a separate for PVC fund. purposes back right. then. Yeah. And so we still had the operational expenses that the county needed to be coming up right. with so as to go ahead and keep the, the good Sam operating. And so that is the fund, or that is the budget that we're now renaming the CBC. So, right. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's your guys' decision. I just did what the budget. Yeah. I and, set it up the way the budget showed and the way we discussed. Is there any advantages, disadvantages either way? Well, in, in the discussion of trying to f decide how and why it was being done the way it was, um, the fact that it became taken out of the umbrella of the county general was the important part of what I guess the decision was made to take it out of the general because they didn't want it being covered by the general if they would go over budget. So but they're restricted to the to the equivalent of six mills and no more. But everybody in the general is restricted that, to their budgets. Yeah, true. But that doesn't mean they stick to it. Yeah. They are restricted, uh, and I would say that 2016 basically took that 2011 authority and said, we're going to use it for the, the building commission, the public building commission. So you, you do have that restriction. Now, the other statute, we've been doing six mills in the, in the general fund, and all we did was use that authority and, and pulled it out of the general fund so that the public could really see what we was doing. That, we have no restriction. Now, by having it in a separate fund, we are kind of restricting it to the money that's being levied in that fund. And if they'd run out, then you're going to have to go back and look at your general fund. But if it's in the general fund and we do an equivalent to six mills and they run out, we're still looking still at it. Still the same thing. Yeah. Same thing, yeah. Leslie's more involved in this than I, and Scott and Dolores. How would you like to see this go Well, out? the question is, is, okay, let's say that um, everything is a success in regards to the assisted living and the skilled nursing facility and they are actually generating a profit. How is that handled with this being as it's sold and separate? Well, if they didn't, Because they wouldn't need anything. If they wouldn't need anything, then the next year uh, the commissioners would not levy any money. But what would happen with the monies that were in it that stays fund? there. They would stay right there. And so it wouldn't be put back into the general for use with other departments that may have a necessity because they go over yeah. budget, like sheriff. That, that's, true. that's true. I think that's what we're looking at. We're trying to protect ourselves on the backside because uh, we do have a couple instances where some of these items are going to be over budget, and uh, we're going to have to pay for that in general anyway. Because if it's set where it is now. When you do your, do you just give them that six mils, the way it is right now? They just don't no, not, not no. They only approval. get it as they only get it as the distributions come. But they get whatever's there, right? But not not without commissioner approval. They still have to come and get the approval of the commissioners to expense it. So we have the authority to hold back. Well, if it's where it's right. at now, you just can't take that. You back can't use it. Yeah. Well, but the, the thing of it is, is that if there is, if it's set up, if we keep it the way that it is, and correct me if I'm wrong, if we keep it the way that it is, then whatever monies 
are attributed to that fund stay in that fund from year to year to year to year. That's yeah, right. yep. we couldn't use it anywhere else. No. That's right. No. Now, there is another thing, and that is we have been giving them equivalent to six mils in the general fund. Now, having the separate six mils split out will mean that a year from now they will get mo motor vehicle money that will follow, that follows your levy. So that will actually increase the amount of money that uh, the home would get. But you're going to look down to the future. I mean, it's a, it's a new facility now, but in years to come, there's going to be repairs and upkeep and that may need to have a buildup of funds, but... <clears throat> well, well, we're still taking care of the old facility. Right. That's really where it was and taking, that, it was taking the six mills to run the old facility. Yeah, and see that old facility is now implemented into this operation, right? The whole yeah, right. whole works is in there now, right. so you're going to have those types of expenses coming <clears throat> up too. I think. And since it's an unlimited amount, so you uh, back up. You saying that if they have it in a separate account, they're going to get motor vehicle money put into yeah. that account too. So yeah. they're going to get more than the equivalent of six miles. Yeah. So we need to put it back in the general one. Well. Now, any time you got a mill levy, the motor vehicle should follow it because that's and if it's that the, share. If it's in the general, and what if it it's in the general? I think they're kind of being they're losing it, and uh, because it's not. Well, being the separate. taxpayers want them to. They don't want them to have any more than six mills. Yeah, but when they the motor vehicle levy is based upon the levies of the county, which includes. Uh, that amount that uh, the six mills that would been in the general. So, um, so John, do you have a solid recommendation on it? I, I got one one more question okay. that I'm really confused about on this. Okay, so we have the six mill vote, and now we have this statute that gives them an unlimited levy amount. Yeah. So, in the two funds that we do now have set up, is there a specific is there a specific one of these that go with each fund? Like so in other words, the 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 home for the age that we set up in 2011 mm -hmm. in the department, it, that is the one that's restricted to six mil. That is. Okay, yeah. so the other fund that we're levying then, six mil for to get the taxes to pay the lease, that could actually change. No. No, let's no. not take it. That actually is the original six because this in 2016 incorporated and said we're going to take that authorization of six mils and use it for the Public Building Commission. Okay, so the one that is that we're discussing, whether it goes into the general or state out, that be anything that they set. Yeah, that's the okay. one that they can have it. Uh, I, I guess my thought is it really should be separated out. So the so. voted one is the one that's already out, the yeah. PBC Home for the Age yeah. that's leased. Yeah. Okay. So, so the one that goes, that we're in question is the CCV now. Yeah. And, that's, yeah. and, and the question is, do we want the general I mean, fund or we want it separated out? So if they have and a it could go excess of one year, the next year, we'd that have, levy could be lowered yeah. to a smaller amount if you're concerned about yeah. the funds building up that's too much in it. I was just going to ask if, if the commissioners ever want to lower that levy to mill. That yeah. levy can go to anywhere you want. Matter where it's right. not restricted and that, at all. And that fund is under the under the tax levy, where the public building commission is not. Right. So by taking that six mills out of the general and putting it into a separate, all we did was move authorization. And when we put it back, it, it does the same. So either so. either place it's at, 
they can lower that at any time. Yes. Like if they have five yeah. years, they're not even touching it, then yeah. the commissioners can. Yeah. So if you if you do that, then can you move whatever you're taking away from that fund <clears throat> in regards to your levy and put it towards general? Yes. Yeah. So but I we, still have a problem with the you know if with this tax and and if we're looking at having to come up with more monies for employees or something of that nature and there is an excess in that fund that had it been in general it could have been used for that but I think what they're saying is you can adjust your your mills let's say next right, year but that's from year to year you're right we're always so going to be a year behind there, so whatever's there at the time of need is is going to be locked in there right is there anything that can be done with those excess funds like I not as long as you got a, a home capital for the owners. outlay for them specifically. Well, yeah. I mean, we I mean, already it's, have it's a, a home thing. for yes. each capital yeah. outlay. Yes, uh, the money could be put to a capital, either equipment or a capital outlay uh, from that fund. Uh, but since we've got a separate separate fund, I'm not sure why we'd want to do that. I think just leave the money there and then. You know, if we're building up and say, hey, we don't need a levy, let's lower that, increase the general. But we may not see that for a couple of years. We won't figure that yeah. out till then. Yeah. yeah. But you've got, I think, two things. We've got her, I agree with her, but in the, in the general fund, if there was more money there than what you needed, and which we haven't seen that in, 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 in several yeah. years, yeah. Uh, then we have every right to use it for something else in the in the in the general fund. Well, given uh, the, that explanation, I, 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 plus if you have the fund separate, it's transparency to the public of how the village is actually working. Yeah, and, and that goes back to the former county attorney that recommended it be separate. So that well, that's one of our problems. All this got confused over the years with different commissioners, different county yeah. attorneys, and yeah. And it got blurry and muddy, and it took forever just to figure right now, it out. I've already had one individual in my office, and he said, we did not vote on that other six mills, because he saw that pulled mm -hmm. out in the publication. So it's already causing <laughs> problems but with it being pulled out. With us now being educated of this other statute that we actually yeah. have the right. I mean, just because it shows we agreed to give them six mills this year, doesn't that mean doesn't we're locked mean into it. we're locked into that, and that, that had I, to be I, voted on. It's a board of commission authority. I know when she first called me, I said, "Well, we did this because of the previous county attorney," and and so I assume there's some authority somewhere. I'd always said I, it only looked to me like there was one six mil, and uh, and I said, "Well, if that's the case. We're going to have to amend it and 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 put it back." But then when I started looking at the statute that we used for that second six mills, I said, well, uh, we've got legal authority to do it. So it's just, it comes down to, to whatever you guys want to do. Uh, if we... I mean, I think it'll be a rough it. year. I mean, I, I'm going to get the brunt of it on myself, too, because just because our office just does. Oh, yeah. At, <laughs> but this, at this point... Uh, I guess my opinion is leaving it in the public view. I mean, next year, change the levy. Do you think that's a better option? Leave than the, change the levy just so people don't... You know, they realize you can have that authority. But... Well, I, think it's, I think it's very important that the public be able to see what's going on with But they've got to be able to village. figure out what they're looking at. And see, that's where the problem arises. Like Scott said, he's with already With time has, and education, yeah. You know, I don't know if you'll ever... I mean, I don't care. I mean, it's it's. I'm just giving my opinions. And, and we can either way... Later, right? huh? I mean, we can... If, can if, once it's out, can we put it back into the general... Yeah, so that's what this is. This At is, any time, we would have to do yeah. an amended budget to do it. But to yes. do it for nineteen, mm -hmm. we'd have to amend. No, the budget. I mean years afterwards. Okay, afterwards. years afterwards. If we keep it the way it is, years after. Okay, we let's let's in. say that we came up at the end of it. At, well, let's let's say that we're looking at it next July, right. and it looks like we're going to have a hundred thousand left over, 
and in that fund, uh, and then we can say, well, let's if we're a hundred thousand under for this year and next year probably going to be the same. Let's drop that levy maybe back to two mills or something like that and, and put that into the general fund. It'll be four percent actually. So, I mean, if they're getting six now and a hundred thousand, they're getting three. That's four. Yeah. yeah. Where was it in eighteen? In eighteen, it was in the general fund. General. Then that's where we want to leave it. So, and this. I'm sorry. No, this would put no it sense. back in. You're, you're saying we're trying to hide it. We're just trying to keep the people. No, we're I'm not, not trying, saying. We're not trying to hide anything. It's been in the general. Let's leave it in the general. Well, I can see two ways. It could I can be a see savings it. account for them, but it, it and I think we're going to wind see up where needing we're needing it. it. In the future, here. Do we know how long this lid lid's going to stay? Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's going to be forever. <laughs> as far as right now, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah We're going to have to start getting well, on our about new, tweaking that a little new bit. governor to. No one's talking about getting rid of it. Yeah. yeah. They're, yeah. they're going to work next on it. Year. Yeah. Next it's next session. Next but you, you and I both know that you can't bank on that. Yeah. yeah. That's true. I guess I'm just trying to explain it to a bunch of people that we didn't raise. An extra six mils, we're not going to get it done. But they another, won't believe us. another thing, too, is you, if, if that's the way that you're going to do it, we're going to have to revise the lease agreement with CCB every year regarding what is going to be available for the subsidy. Right. Mm, that six mils is in separate fund. And no, this that's no, the lease. Oh, yeah. okay. with yeah. CCB. Yeah. 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 We'd have to revise so, the lease every year. Do they? Okay, so are well, they well, going to be submitting like a budget each year, like all the other entities that are levying? So yes, I the, mean that that lease would go probably off of what budget they the, submit. The lease that you approve. Yeah. You're leasing never, the facility from the, the public building budget. commission, and that's but they're going to have to. They're going to have to. The other six mills is for operation. That's not that's not lease. We have a lease with Cheyenne County Village. For the oper to subsidize operations. Okay, that would be an appropriation to them. And so that that's what this for the hospital is an actual is a levy. We're talking it, about. It's an appropriation. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. It is it is okay. Yeah. But I don't know why you call it a lease. The the lease because, part because is the it public covers, building. Well, because the commissioners. Or, Che Cheyenne County owns the land and the buildings. And, and so they're leasing the land and the buildings to CCB. And in addition to, in, and as a part of that lease, if they need a subsidy to cover expenses, then they can come to the commissioners and ask, and for, an appropriation. ask for an appropriation up to the equivalent of okay. six, six months. Miles. Okay. So I, I was just thinking when you said lease, you were talking about the Public Building Commission. Cause that, yeah, that no, is, they've is got their own so, leases. Yeah. <laughs> so. But if you want to go this way, this would be the hearing uh, notice that, and we'd need, if we're going to do it on the 31st, uh, you'd need to approve that today because then we have to get it in the paper next week. We've got to have 10 days in between publication and, and the hearing date. Uh, my thought, if you're going to do it, we need to do it either now or early in uh, January so that she can reprogram uh, that money. The numbers. Before I do my distribution. Yeah, before we do 20th. the distribution and, and shoot it to the general fund rather than to the separate fund. So, and you can see that this just shows that what was originally was it was set out and then on this and the proposed amendment puts it back into the general fund. Let's, let's do that. That's my recommendation. I mean, we aren't hiding anything. No. It's just a matter of access to the monies in the event of an emergency, so to speak. Because, quite honestly, all of our budgets are tightening up. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we're ill prepared for for bad weather. And I, I think it's going to get tighter. Oh, I do too. You, you know, I uh, we tighten things down uh, for the 2019 and, and slipped under the lid. And, and do you have a recommendation, Scott? What would you rather see? I think it should go back into the general. For now, anyway. for now, I yeah, think Roger, so. Roger's already given. I hands. agree. All right, I guess we're all in agreement okay. there. Yeah. So I think after this discussion, we need a motion to approve this publication. Okay. So I need a motion to approve the notice of a hear hearing on amended the uh, amending the 2019 budget. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So that carried. Okay. I'll give the. Detail well, work. Sure uh, right. People want to know what we're doing. Looks like we're going to be adding another six mil. Yeah, but we're not. Tell them to look at the zero. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I got one last that, question. Then I would recommend after they adopt the the amended budget that uh, then I republish the levy. Republish the levy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one 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 last question, just for my own clarification. I know that the lease and the board has a agreement in place right now for an equivalent of six mills but with this statute you will have authority to adjust that amount in the future mm -hmm. well the thing that's the beauty of the lease right or the agreement that we have it says up to you know six mm -hmm. mills and so yeah. it, it's one of those things where you know let's let's see how it goes because you know the way in which the lease is worded also is if any in any given quarter if they have been in and requested a, a subsidy but then they show a profit right. in the next quarter then they are to reimburse the county and that those monies be held in that um, in the CCV for future use and it's not a blank year. check they're going to have to come in and justify the right. needs to yeah. right but you're but but on the other side, let's say another disaster happens to the place. Mm -hmm. Tornado hits it or something happens. They could also go above that six mil. I mean, they're not... They'd have to come up with a brand new agreement. They'd, they'd still have to get right. approval to do that. Right. Of course. <laughs> I'm saying the I'm commission saying. is the one that would right. make that decision, but it could happen. I'm just clarifying for my own self down the road for the future. I know it can be lowered. But I didn't know, with the agreement that's in place, I mean, I guess that could with be amended and place, changed. With the agreement that's in place, no, they, they're not going to go over right. the equivalent of six mils. But yes, they can propose a new agreement that we would have to look at and approve. Right, okay. Because you never know. I mean, we, we never expected the, the fire the either. <laughs> now, in 2019... You won't be paying any of the bills. You'll just be appropriating money to yes. them, and they'll pay the bills. Yes. I'll, I'll put it that way in the budget. Then. It's yes. a, it, that's how it was before. Yeah, he we had were a, leasing the facility to Good Sam. Yeah. And now, but he was Sam. also paying some of the bills. Yeah. I, I think there was some bills uh, up to that, six mills. Yeah. Well, he would bring in specific bills to be. That he wanted the county to pay, yeah. but I think right. But they would always add up to the equivalent of six of, mills, right? They come out of the same yeah. line item. So are they going to do the same thing? Are they going to submit those bills and the county pay those bills, or are they just going to submit for an amount and we pay the CCV one amount? Correct. And then they pay those individual Which bills that, that they come to. That in effect would be an appropriation. So yes. <laughs> what I'll do is, of course, I on on the budget it will show. What, uh, 2017, 18, and, and 19. 19. And the 17 and 18 is going to show like contractual services and commodities. But on the 19, I'll show that appropriation okay. to the home. So. All right. Never stop learning with this. Yeah, yeah no yeah. kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I've been Speaking here 19 which, years, and I'm still learning. <laughs> Speaking of which, end-of-the-year transfers. Um, we had a department head meeting last Friday, and I think there is some confusion amongst the department heads 
as to what they can and cannot transfer at the end of the year specifically for their own budgets. Meaning, we pass year-end resolutions, and when it comes to general, there are... There's the um, general to department equipment reserve fund. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and so they're thinking that at the end of the year, that whatever is left over in their budget, that they can go in and do a budget transfer whereby that excess is transferred specifically to their department. To the in equipment reserve. Providing the commissioners approve that. Okay. But with the equipment reserve, is that everything that is left over in their budget from the previous year, or is that only a percentage, or is that supposed to be a budgeted item? Well, uh, mm -hmm. it, it comes back to what the commissioners approve, and I think the way it looks is if they had an amount to be transferred to the equipment, and they were under budget, then that amount got transferred for them. If that department was over budget, then it got reduced so that back to their budget amount. So, I, that I understand, let's just take my budget for example, okay. so it doesn't look like I'm picking on anyone. Because I'm going to have, I'm under budget this year, way under budget. Okay. And um, so let's say, just throwing a figure out there, um, there's still 20000 at the end of the year that is left in my budget. So can I come in and say, all right, I want to transfer end of the year that 20000 back to my budget? Back to the budget? Back, back to, to the back to equipment fund. To my equipment fund. Oh, okay. So does each department have their own equipment fund, so yeah. to speak? Yeah. Right. yeah. Because the statute doesn't say it, but there's attorney general opinion that said that uh, you couldn't divert that money. And so once it's set aside, it's got to be used for that, for that department. 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 And uh, so uh, what the, some of my counties do is... Uh, if they're under budget, $20,000, uh, then they'll approve that money to go into uh, an equipment reserve. If the next year they're over budget, 10000 10000 comes back into the... From the equipment reserve. From the equipment, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's yeah. Now I that got makes, one county that does that. The other, that makes sense to the, me. Right, but the, the question that I have is... If, if they haven't already expensed it. What? If they hadn't already expensed it. If every department <clears throat> were to do that and take all of their excess and place it into an equipment reserve, mm -hmm. then how would you deal with a situation like we have at this point in time whereby we are going to have major medical expenses through the sheriff's department because of an inmate? How would you cover those expenses? If it's not going back into general. The, the general. Well, you, you got a problem. So you're locking that money down to that specific department. Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> let me throw out a couple other things. I've had uh, two counties in the last couple of years that have run into problems with the general. Oh, uh, and... Uh, um, and what both of those have done is said, okay, at the end of the year, if we're negative in the general fund, then we're wanting to take away from the equipment funds enough to bring us back to zero. So we always have the option to move that yeah. money. Yeah. In now, fact, we had to. Of course, they looked at the road and bridge with the big, and I said, no, can't do that on road and bridge. Only can do that with those transfers that was originally, and so 
I think in both of those cases... Uh, or capital outlay, too, because that comes yeah, from the general. Yeah, that comes from the general. Yes, that's true. Uh, in both of these cases, they don't have any capital outlay. So it was just the equipment. Uh, and what they did was they added up everybody's and, and said, we need to take 30% of it back to get us to zero. And, and that, that's what we did. Now, what a lot of times they will do is, is make a resolution that says that uh, we will allow a transfer up to your budget for the following departments. And uh, now I think what you've been doing in the past, and, and let me look here, is uh, like for the instance, they've actually been the, the sheriff last year in 2017 uh, budgeted a transfer to equipment of 35,000, and so that's all we gave him. Now, if you did it this way, he would have been able to put another 13,000 because he was 13000 under his budget. So I think what you've been doing in the past is if they had it in their budget, then we do it, but if they didn't, we're not. But that that's an option. Is they don't have to have it in their budget in order to... That's your guys' decision. So <clears throat> when it comes to the end-of-the-year resolution, does it need to be rewarded whereby each department head can come in and make that transfer? Uh, or request that transfer. Or request it? That or, or uh, in the other counties, usually what happens is the departments come in and uh, talk to the commissioners ahead of time and then towards the end when they actually adopt the resolution and, then they put in there which departments that they're going to allow. As you said earlier, you. we can take money out of equipment reserve and bring it back to the department with a resolution. It comes back to the general fund. Well, but like she said, if the sheriff was over budget on prisoners. Can he take it out of his equipment reserve to cover that? Is that what you told me? Basically, yeah. I, I got one county that if uh, they, they work it both ways. If you're under budget, transfers to your equipment. If you're over budget, comes back out of your equipment. But if the general isn't under, it may not be something you really want to do. I mean, that's just a thought well, because he's going to he's going to still need phone. to build his reserve for his vehicles and his equipment. But you also need money and coming into care. the general level too. I, I was going to say one of the things if you adopt the deal of allowing everybody to transfer their excesses to the equipment, you're going to start building some some money aside that's coming out of the general fund which is going to make it that much harder. We're going to have less carryover. So that's that the, that's much the harder biggest issue, to, is in the, the carryover you're going to have. Uh, we're going to have to cut things back more in the yeah. future to stay under the tax rate. So, you know, if, if you went with that, uh, for instance, last year, the clerk would have been able to transfer another 15000 the treasurer uh, 1700 um uh, County attorney eight hundred and some register deeds ten thousand, so you're, you're talking quite a little bit more money that would be put uh, into the the equipment reserve, and and my concern is well that pulls it away from carryover money in the general fund, which then hurts us because that carryover money is part of what we're using to fund future years, and and we're we can't raise the taxes. We're under the tax lid. Uh, so, from your viewpoint, what's the best option we could do? Probably what you've been doing. Uh, that is, uh, uh, if if you're agreeable to let them build it into the 
into their budget, budget. and they're under budget it, that they can transfer it to the extent. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see how tight it is, but I wouldn't be surprised that we might next year be looking at having to cut everybody's transfer of equipment out of their budget to to get things done. Okay, so I'm confused. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so you're recommending that each department be able to come in and transfer whatever is left in their budget. That's no. one one option. No, that's one no, no, option. Uh, no, I'm asking no you. what they have budgeted to transfer. Oh, okay. okay. It's so not, they not have all of transfer. all that's remaining. Okay, because just what at they the budgeted. department head meeting, they left with the belief that they could come in and whatever was left in their budget, they could transfer yeah. to their budget. That's what they walked out of this meeting mm -hmm. thinking. And so, all right, so we need to make it perfectly clear to all the department heads that if you If you're going to transfer, you, you need to budget it. If you're going to transfer the equipment reserve, well, they got to have a need for it first. Yeah. To right. go back to what we were Otherwise doing we and have, have it. Approved. And see, when they approve the budgets, that's the Board of Commission approval, yeah. so they don't have to come back and get reapproval to transfer that money. Well, that's done by the audit because the audit authority it, says it, yes or no whether they have the money to transfer the or not. Approval of the budget really doesn't approve those transfers. Those still have to be approved by the individually for each department. Yeah. Okay, which, we which haven't been doing it that way. So and, right, mm, and, and that's why I'm, you know my question is is you know we just had a general um, end of the year resolution regarding. Get that here. Why did I change it? It just says authorization of general fund budgeted transfers subject to department budget authority and remaining general fund cash be made to the respective equipment reserve funds. Yeah. So, so what, what that's saying is let's go back to years, you're 20,000 under for this year. Nothing was put in there for a transfer to equipment reserve. Right. So well, and there here lies the problem. We were told that we could not budget for equipment reserve; that it had to be put in capital outlay. Because if you look at my election, that was set up for fifteen thousand dollars to be transferred equipment reserve. We were told this year that it cannot be budgeted equipment reserve; it had to be moved into capital outlay. Well, not and that's can, where it's but at. it should be. So. In, in, this, in the process of switching auditors, this is kind of how Brian and Travis have been directing me, and so this is how I've been trying to direct yeah, the county to go towards... two different statutes between equipment reserve and capital outlay. Well, I'm, capital outlay is, in their budget. All capital outlay in, in their budget. In their budget. Well, that would be Because that's, that's just how they had advised me that that's how they normally see it. So I was just trying to get to switch the county, this county over to how it sounded like most counties were doing it. So I've been most trying for the last two or three years, don't budget just for equipment reserve, right? <laughs> uh, most counties don't do it the way you guys are doing. Right. Uh, most counties are doing it the other way. In capital outlay? And no. In
of them just putting it in the budget, not having a line item, we could have encouraged them to stay within their budget or, you know, to. It's like at home when you make a budget for yourself and you know you've got stuff coming up in the future, you've got to put money away in the back side, so you got to put money in. I mean, you just, you got to put some savings away. I don't know. So I, 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 are you guys way over my head? What's I mean, the difference between capital outlay and equipment reserve? Well, Capital why, outlay, why you have to, I'd have to spend that $15,000 this year. I yeah. can't put it in the equipment reserve. Without comp well, you still, you can still put it in Yeah, but if reserve, I've got a piece of equipment that costs $25,000, I can't buy it with $15,000. If, if that money was being put into capital funds, outlay, but from then prior, I could build that. But you have yeah. funds from prior years that you've been putting into cap equipment reserve that you can also add to mm -hmm. what your budget Up is. Up until 19. Yeah, in 2019. you can come to the commissioners and ask them to be able to transfer that amount of money to equipment reserve. But that that is different from what you're currently doing. Because right now we're just putting it in the budget and just transferring what you put in the budget if you still have budget left. Yeah, yeah. And his, we're it, not putting in, it in a line item for equipment reserve. You need to come to the commissioners to ask. In, in 19, in his situation, let's say that he had a $25,000 piece of equipment. And if he buys it in 19, he could put $15,000 out of, out of his uh, general fund uh, election department and put the other 10000 out of his equipment reserve that he's funded in the past. But if that piece of equipment wasn't going to come in until 20, that's where you got the problem. Right. And, and so I can, I can sure see. And I think this is going to mess up a lot of people. And uh, So let me just dumb it down a little bit. But if they padded their budget for the same amount of equipment as, as what they would have normally have put in the equipment reserve, I don't see how it's going to make any difference whether it's in a line item or just in their budget. Well, because if the general in, goes in, down, in, in the past you didn't allow them to transfer it unless it was a line item. Now they can ask for all of it, anything that's left, and nothing will be going into the general if they if that's approved. Whereas if they would budget it through capital outlay, that's all that they could transfer. Equipment reserve. Or equipment reserve, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> so, but if they're the still figuring into their <coughs> budget what they would have put into equipment reserve, we just moved that figure up in, in to a capital. different line item yeah. in, in their budget. Election deal. And they come and ask to have that amount transferred, what is the difference than having it down in the line item? It's just in the approval, in the and resolution how it's of that approval. she writes and, and, and what the commissioners approve. So. Well, but they would still be able to transfer for 19 if they were under their budget. I, they, could, they could, if I had a, if I was under budget $10,000 and I had that $15,000, I could come in and ask for 25000 instead of fifteen. Right? I say that again. If I come in, well, twenty five thousand dollars on the budget. Let's put it that way. Okay, if you use twenty five hundred bucks, I could come in and ask for that full twenty five thousand yes. dollars. Yeah. Now, if it was back in two thousand eighteen, all I could do is that fifteen thousand. Yeah. Right. If we do the same resolution for eighteen that we did in right. seventeen. So if you had a number of departments that switched the way they was doing it in 19, then we'll probably need to switch our resolution, how we write it, in 2019. Because I think a lot of them have. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I don't, once again, I think you guys need to scrutinize and, and say, yeah, that we're okay with this department, but no, not on this. So that we don't have everybody getting 
massive amount of equipment reserve. And right. Well, I think there. when we do budgets, we're going to have to ask and put that down somewhere what they want to transfer, what they're budgeting to transfer. Oh, so that, 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 time. Time. So oh, that yeah, they don't come in at the end time. of the year and ask for and want transferred fifteen twenty thousand dollars more than what they had intended. Right. Yeah. Before we always went back to her for years, and if they hadn't used all that, their budget got dropped. I mean, it got shut down so many dollars yeah. to right because I didn't need it. But we could go back to the line item in twenty. I mean, that's not a. I don't have an issue with it. I was just trying to get things to more where how other counties mm -hmm. did it. Mm -hmm. And we, I've discussed well, this several times with I, I think each of the a, different commissioners. We've been through so many different commissioners and attorneys. If we weren't kind of so tied under the tax lid, I'd mm -hmm. absolutely say, yeah, let's do it that way. But to they, do the, the line item specifically for the equipment reserve? No, to allow the departments that, that uh, to transfer whatever, whatever they want. Whatever <laughs> was up to their budget. You but know, in the equipment. position we are, we should probably go back to that line. Is that what you're saying? saying? Well, that that's kind of what I'm thinking. Is is uh, yeah, um, that's confusing. it for 18? Now 19, where you had people putting it up in their capital outlay, I think we got it to either amend our budget or uh, change our method. So. I think what I need and would be probably beneficial for the commissioners is to set forth what procedure do we need for the 2019 budget. Well, which way, let me ask, if we're going to stay with the way that we have been doing it, then I would say each department needs to let me know how much they want to take out of their capital outlay and put back into that transfer so that I can do it as part of this amended budget that we're going to do here on the 31st. And if they don't do that, then they need to be in here, or we need to probably have a special meeting before the 31st to figure out what they are requesting. Yeah. But this is, yeah, for 18, we're, we're, you're, you're talking 18, this isn't going to happen until 19. Until it's the 19, 19 budgets yeah. that are a problem. Yeah. So we're going to have a whole another year to figure that out. Yeah, but I, for 18, though, that they thought they could ask for whatever they want that's left over. Right. That's the thing. So that's, that's because the, they're looking at. Do you have an 18 here budget? Here comes January, and here's how much I have in my budget. budget. I'm going yeah, in there. Because right the 18, right. we still had the line item, which that's all they can transfer. But when they left that meeting, they thought they could ask for whatever is left over the budget. So, so that needs to be that's where the budget. confusion is. If it's it. well, we you know <laughs> we we can do that, but like I say, my only concern was and they do have that authority to come in and ask for what's in their budget, but the the board of commission can only give them what's the approval of what's left or yeah. whatever they decide on. It. And even with it being budgeted as a line item, they could still come in and ask for their whole budget that's left. I yeah. mean, that hasn't changed just because well, your I clarified it yeah. doesn't mean that that's what they... Yeah, but in 2018, all, uh, they have still the line transfers. items. Yeah. That's this is all, the resolution I have is only for budgeted transfers. Yeah. Yeah. That is approved by the commission. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of confusion. So if you're going to do so it the 20, way the department heads recently thought it was going to be done she'll need to modify her resolution well for 18 we need to keep doing what we were doing yeah because it, they are still in light items in 18 19. it's just 19 that they what about like her budget where she's 20,000 under well she never does put attorneys never have put in equipment reserve so okay in this county. <laughs> but that doesn't mean they can't put it in their budget. They, might actually have a they just yeah. never have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, a desk because, be nice. <laughs> well, most of the time, with drawers? Most of the time, the county attorney's not been within the county courthouse. Since they've had their own office, so they never really have put in for equipment reserve. Doesn't say they can't. Yeah. Well, I've got counties that work out of the, out of the courthouse, and, and of course they ask for computer equipment to be bought for them, and, 
and so they do set it aside. Yeah, it's one of the, one of the things is the uh, clerk of the district court, I know some of the um, judges have asked that anything be let, left be transferred. I am, uh, in some of the counties, they're getting a pretty good amount set aside for the court system. Mm. I'm not sure that that, that's the reason I think that you still need to have you guys saying approval. Yeah, approval. Okay, so, and so even with the line item, they need to each come in and get approval. Well, that would be done at the time of budget. Right. He if said they, that that doesn't were approve that, the, the equipment reserve. Well, that's what I always thought, but I thought he just no. said that doesn't approve it. No, when you, you you're just budgeting, to right? Try, but it doesn't actually make the approval at that time. So, uh, so if let's say in. 2019, we, they had a, a transfer of 15000 in that department. They still need to come in. We still need to do the resolution. But not if it's a budgeted transfer. Even if it is a budgeted transfer. So the adopting of the budget uh, sets the levy and adopts the maximum expenditures by fund. Right. It doesn't authorize all the expenditures automatically. Such as the transfers. So then, why in the past have we not been having them come in and get approval for their budgeted transfers? Because you've been doing it that way, and just saying we're going to everything that's in the budget, we're going to allow it. Right, but that's what I'm saying. If you're going through the budget process and they come in and say, "Okay, this is what I'm requesting as my budget. Here it is what I would like to put towards the cap uh, equipment. equipment reserve." And the commissioners say, okay, thank you, and decide that that's appropriate and it's given to you to prepare the budget in a roundabout way. That's kind of an approval of that budgeted transfer. And then so do that the resolution. at the end of the year, they don't have to come in and get specific approval because it's for budgeted transfers, which the budget has already been approved. Well, the budget's been approved, but I still think the transfer needs to be approved by resolution. Well, yeah, I mean, we do a resolution, okay. but they don't have to come in individually if it's already in the budget, if we're going ahead and approving budgeted transfers. If we do it that way, you're right. right. Okay. Yeah. So the only year we're going to have an issue is 19. Because right, 19, they're going to have to come in specifically and ask for And we're going to transfer. have to revise our... And we're going to have to revise this. Yeah. Well, I'm happy so with that. We're going to go back to <laughs> transfer line. And we're going to have to have uh, everything up to date so that we can see where their budgets are at to see whether that's even going to be possible. Right. 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 You don't care, do you? Not for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Lame duck here. So do no we have the 17 transfers in it? Adjust, adjusting entries. Well, from what I, I, I asked Travis to get back with you, and, and but from what I looked at your schedule, they all looked all right to me. So, uh, am I going to get anything soon? Hopefully, to get approved from the commissioners or to, or do they need to be approved? Since they're from the audit, or how do we do go? How do we proceed from here so I can finish the well, year end? Uh, <laughs> Are there audit adjustments that I need to do? Because I haven't gotten any of those either. Feel way, but this has been a lot. very helpful for me. Good. <laughs> that that's all I can hope for. Because <laughs> I'm thoroughly lost. The only thing I think I put on here lost. after re-looking at the adjustments. Well, somebody's uh, gonna have to hold my hand through it. But I kind of got it. Uh, Rule of thumb, if you don't want them to do it, they're going to have to come in at the end of the year anyway and request it. No, I think maybe I went ahead and took it back out of there after I thought about it. Because it looked like in the audit that this amount was actually been transferring again in 17 but I think I went ahead and took that back out. I didn't even look at those. And so, I mean, all this shit, as far as I'm concerned, is... Because he said what's showing up in the audit is my, actually my a transfer. What we did was we went from yeah, the oil and gas commission to yeah. county yeah. general in mm -hmm. 16. Yeah. And then in 17, they decided to take that 
liquid, I guess. No, we would take it from oil and, and gas, gas to general and then general to the home for the age bond. Then okay. 150. Then in 17, they decided they wanted to take that money from the home for the age bond and put it into the capital improvement. But to do that, we had to put it into the general, general again program. and then put it back in. Yeah. So that's why he had it showing up. But there was a transfer in 17. Yeah. I took it out because I didn't think there should be one in 17. So basically, yeah, but it's been. So I can go ahead and get these done because I know there's a lot of departments waiting on their money. Yeah. From, yeah. I really need this money. <laughs> and okay. the, the others would be just, if there's any that, that would be kind of air correction type journal entry. I'm going to request an executive for non elected, non appointed personnel. Okay. How many minutes would you like? Uh, 15, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're just as clear as mud, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm... We had a motion and a second. All those in favor of going to executive session for 15 minutes. Aye. Aye. 